All right, car fanatics, behind me, the creme de la creme of the auto industry. I'm talking concept cars, hybrids, international debuts. I'm going to take you guys inside and take a look at them. What automakers do we have here today? We got all the major automakers. We have about 900 cars here, probably 40 to 50 different brands represented. About 40 world or North American debuts, so a lot of vehicles you can't see anywhere else but here. Now, for those potential buyers who want to break the sound barrier without breaking their bank accounts, look no further than the 2011 Boxster Spider. With its 3.4 liter box six cylinder engine, this Roadster will jump from 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds flat. It's got 320 horses under the hood, and with its low 8.8 .8 pounds per horsepower ratio, the Boxster is even quicker than the 911S. Now, like its predecessors in the 50s and 60s, this thing completely stripped down of anything that carries excess weight that would minimize the speed. Like, for instance, door handles. There is nothing to weigh this car down. No AC, no cup holders, not even a radio. It comes equipped with a two-piece soft top and 19-inch aluminum wheels. It's Spartan, but it keeps the car light and super fast. Now, if you got a hunger for speed, but you're on a budget, I got to say, at 61 grand, this car is for you. Unless you don't mind not having a place to put your beer. Spiker is a company that used to make airplanes, and you can still see a lot of that in their designs, but now they make badass cars like the Aileron. This land rocket houses a Lotus suspension and an Audi V8 4.2 liter engine with a tweaked intake that boosts it up to 400 horsepower. With its 354 pounds of torque, it can go from 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds with a top speed at an insane 180 miles an hour. If you thought the outside looked like a jet, check out the cockpit interior. Only fitting, really, that you got to start the car like this. The interior is an all leather and handmade aluminum by the guys who make Bentleys. Even the stick shift is funky as hell with an exposed linkage auto gearbox. This car looks as good as it drives. The Aileron is finally rolling off production lines, starting at $224,000. But for those of you that like convertibles and have another 20 grand to burn, maybe you should check out this prototype Spider, which should be out in 2011. You think that gas guzzling beast you drive could take this little electric guy off the line? Well, before you start betting pink slips, you should know it's got the torque of an Abrams tank. This is the Audi e-tron. It runs on four motors which are housed inside the wheels and can be controlled independently, giving you the option for front or rear wheel drive. Powered by a lithium ion battery, it can go 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds with seemingly endless torque, 3,320 pounds of it to be exact, with a top speed of 120 miles an hour. If you were surprised by the performance of this electric car, your mind is going to be blown by the gadgets they've stuffed inside. The dash is a new design. Two analog displays and one 7.5 retractable multimedia interface screen. The side view mirrors are mini LCD monitors, and that bit of kryptonite right there, that's actually a liquid battery gauge that tells you when it's time to recharge. With a 2012 release date, there's no price tag yet, but your kids don't need to go to college. You'll have the money when you need to. That was 350,000 square feet of automotive heaven in three minutes of television. There's a God, my friends, and he doth like it to drive.